Good morning, everybody. This is Automotive Inquires out here. We are having a nice chilly day in uh, Colorado. Um, as I stated before, I uh, got the new uh, Super Duty with the uh, 7.3 Godzilla. Um, so far, it's only been about two weeks and uh, it's been a blast to drive and everything like that. But I did promise you guys a quick little video in regards to gas versus diesel and everything like that. Um, it's pretty plain and simple. Um, when it comes to buying one of these diesel or gas truck is, what's your intended purpose, all right? There is 365 days a year um, in the calendar. If you're not polling uh, more than 100 of those days, um, really rethink the idea of getting a modern diesel. And I, what I mean by modern diesel is anything built after the 2007, 2008 uh, emissions restrictions. Uh, thank you, uh, the illustrious Obama administration for doing such a thing. But uh, in uh, 2007, they restricted all future diesels um, from 2007 to about 2010 is when they kind of started playing with the diesel particulate burnoff um, DPFs which created a ton of heat, which then created a lot of uh, oil dilution. A lot of the diesels caused a lot of problems. Fast forward another year or two, and here we are with our DEF systems, which again, DEF is DEF. It's, it's useless, but it's part of that. But now we have extra injectors, extra systems, ev extra filters, extra, extra everything on a diesel. So if you're gonna look at a diesel prior to 2007, you can drive that just like any other uh, current and modern um, gas engine. However, you're not going to get the capability that these new trucks have. Um, even in the modern gas like this, Godzilla has more capability than a 2007 standard stock diesel now i'm not saying you can't go out and tune those and you can't take these modern diesels and delete them and uh you know take all the emission stuff off and do that but however in colorado we are so strict on emissions and a lot of other states if you go through and they pull you over and they really want to push it and they see a modified system they can tow impound and fine you tens of thousands of dollars so unless it's a show truck, um, I don't think I would recommend deleting your emissions ever on a vehicle, um, just in today's standards. In addition to that, most um, engineers have spent tons and tons and tons of hours making those trucks run the best they can under the circumstances in which they were put in, which was all that diesel control stuff. Now, that being said, if you're not pulling more than 100 days a year um, with that diesel, you don't need a diesel, okay? Um, now that doesn't go with the, the flow of, listen, you, you just have money to blow and you are a fanboy of diesels. I love diesels. They have a special place in my heart. Um, but if you're not using it for that, then, then, and you're new to diesel ownership, then just skip it. Okay. Because if you've never had one, then you go drive a new one of these heavy duty gassers and they're going to have more power than you've ever dreamed of. And you're not going to know the difference. Okay. So that being said, I would stay away from that if you're not pulling a lot. All right. Uh, secondly, if you're not pulling, but you can at least drive highway speeds a lot, um, then you might be able to get away with less regens and stuff like that. But in the long term, these diesel motors, even the ones in semis that I drive, uh, they're made to pull and work. And still at that, those are gonna regen a ton. So if you're just really not pulling with it um, a lot and you're pulling sparingly, then then skip the diesel, all right? Um, one thing's for sure, if you pull in excess of 18,000 pounds, you're gonna probably wanna stick with a diesel. Um, because that means you're going to be working and it's going to stay in good shape. We have power strokes at the place I work and uh, if it's pulling a lot, it's good, but it still regens probably two or three times a week. And that's all that truck does is literally drive distances pulling heavy weight. And uh, we have V10s and gas trucks and guess what? They don't need to do any of that. Uh, once the regen start, you need to run it out. You need to allow it to continue its thing and don't shut it down. Because what that does is it stops and, and when the engine stops, the heat stays exactly where you left it in the turbos and everything like that. And that, that regen uh, process creates too, too much heat, okay? Um, secondly, because I've owned Power Strokes, I've owned Duramaxes, I've owned Cummins diesels, um, the excess maintenance. So people say, well, you know, the cost of fuel is gonna, you know, over long term makes the gas make more sense. Well, really, you're not getting these trucks for fuel mileage, so probably take that out of your mindset. I mean, you're getting a diesel to pull, and why it's pulling, it's not gonna get great and the gas is not going to do great it, it is what it is it's i mean you if you want a truck to get good mileage then go get a santa cruz and go get your bag of groceries from the costco and pretend you have a pickup 
but if you're gonna be pulling something that's the reason why we have a big super duties we have a small fifth wheel again and uh, we just needed to pull pull it once in a while and and uh, the rest of the time I'm gonna use the truck to commute that's why it makes sense to have a gas um, but that being said when you have a diesel truck um, you're gonna have fuel filters so proper maintenance or, or to any vehicle ownership is what's gonna make it last a long time so if you're gonna do it right you might as well change your fuel filters every time you change your oil um, and that means OEM not some knockoffs off the line or whatever so you know you're gonna spend money doing fuel filters you're gonna have def costs which it's not a much but it does add up so you're gonna have def you're gonna have that um, you're gonna have 15 quarts of oil in these trucks now versus maybe eight so double the oil um, and when you're doing it yourself good luck disposing of 15 quarts of oil all the time and uh, yeah you can go 10,000 miles but I really wouldn't recommend that especially just with all the regen processes going these days in diesels it says you can do it but the semis get away with it because those things have you know 25 quarts of oil in them I mean they're big big motors but you know um, in addition to that when you get around 50 60 70 thousand miles if you don't tow a ton you're going to get that check engine light which we are going to be heading in to get your EGRs either cleaned replaced or whatnot so that's an expensive process in its own um, so really my point to people and this is the reason why I don't own a diesel anymore is one yeah the fuel prices are more sure I think they're going to make diesel with the current uh, presidential situation I think they'll make diesel so expensive that you won't want to own one or at least restricts you from driving it and going places which is probably the government's angle anyway so um, but um, the overall cost of oil changes fuel filters uh, I don't care. The mileage on this Godzilla, I'm getting like 15 in town. I've checked it against the the truck trip computer and my own hand um, calculations, but I drive it easy. So I got good diesel got, uh, mileage in the diesel also. But, you know, at the end of the day, that, that really, I don't care. I didn't buy it to get 50 miles a gallon. So, um, but I think in the long run, if you're new to towing and you're stepping up from a half ton, just stick with the gas. Um, you know, I would say if you're towing sparingly, say less than say 20 times a year. Um, and that means even if you guys live in a, in a, in a camper now and, or a tiny home and you're driving across the country, but you're only moving it say 20 times, you don't need a diesel. You're going to get up the hill. You're going to go down the hill. You get just fine with this truck. You set the cruise. And if you set the cruise in these big gassers, it uses its own, um, engine braking, um, transmission braking, whatever you want to call it. The computer knows how to keep it within that range. It does really well. I mean, you'd be blown away. But if you're just going to go down the hill and let off the gas, it's going to coast. Sure, it, it'll get up there. You're going to ride your brakes a lot. But just keep that in mind. Um, if you're not towing a ton, like this truck's set up for 18, it'll tow 18. It'll be fine. Um, and, uh, you know, all in all, it's it's all about using the diesel for what it is. You know, because a lot of people, they, they email me all the time. Well, I'm thinking about a diesel. Okay, well, what are you going to use it for? If you're a rancher, if you're a farmer, but... Uh, you spend a ton of time idling and you still only tow like once a month. I see a lot of those guys running gassers and they're happy with it. And the reason why, because you can run this thing all day. You can fire it up and let it idle for two hours, three hours a day. And it's not going to hurt it. It's not going to need to regen. It's not going to clog anything up. Uh, diesel, you do, you do these short runs to the Walmart and get your food. And then you go sit in front of your kid's school for 20 minutes and idle it. And you never drive that thing on the highway or pull like three or four times a year. And you are going to have a lot of problems over the long run of that vehicle. And it's going to need to be in the service department a lot. So my suggestion to everybody out there, just go out, drive a gas truck. If you're stepping up from a half ton, stay with gas. If all of a sudden you're going from a half ton to a one ton diesel and you're pulling a 60 foot trailer or whatever you think you're doing, um, you're probably going to be uh, over your head in a lot of different areas, let alone uh, just having to understand if gas or diesel is better for you. Um, but, you know, like I said, if you can get an old 12 valve diesel from the, the 90s, then you could drive that thing like wherever you want because it's not going to clog up, doesn't have the emissions control. But the modern diesel was killed um, in 2007 and a half, 2008. Um, and now we're all just stuck with it. But, you know, again, if I got to the point where I was traveling a lot and towing a fifth wheel a lot, I would have probably a diesel just because the longevity of it. And other people say is, well, I want to resell it. Now the resale of a diesel is better. Well, if you get the base motor in a truck, they're going to give you a motor in a, in a vehicle and make it roll down the road. You're not going to get an upcharge for, for trading it back in with that base engine. But this is a step up engine. So this has a, a little bit of a surcharge, like 2,700 bucks. You'll get that back. You know, when you buy a diesel, you'll get that back, okay? 
But a lot of people are like, well, the diesel truck's going to trade better and have better value over time. Yeah, of course it will. Because you paid more, so you should get more. So that's just kind of how it works. But at the end of the day, um, you know, it's it, the, the, the long-term value of that truck. You're never going to get it out of it unless you're using it for its intended purposes. Um, again, it's your money. You spend how you like. You, it's your time. You spend how you like. But a lot of people just want to know, and, and people get up here and talk about numbers. And, well, I can get two more miles a gallon with a diesel over a gas. And, you know, I might sell it in five years, and I might get an extra nine grand for it. Well, you pay nine grand or ten grand or twelve grand for the motor, so you probably will get that out of it. But it, it, in all respect to the gas, you'll get that out of that too. Um, it just is going to cost less initially. But for me, commuting, I like to fire it up and I let, let it warm up before I go out to it, just like with the diesel. But the diesel it's not good for, okay? The gas it's okay with. Um, and I don't like paying for all the extra maintenance anymore. You know, 15 quarts at an oil change, and you're talking half price. So, I mean, all those things add up. So the dollar fifty a gallon, two bucks a gallon, really is not a big deal. Um, but it's really the performance you're going to bog down eventually with by driving a diesel, not for the correct reasons. And then you're going to be like, man, I wish I wouldn't have spent the 10 grand. You could have spent that on your camper, um, your family trip to, you know, some great place. Um, and you're just never going to use that, that diesel for what it is. So I hope that this helps in some respects. Um, and sometimes I got to shoot straight from the hip, uh, on it. I don't regret getting the Godzilla at all. It's a great driving truck. And every day it's, I mean, this thing just cruises around town. It's a great truck. Um, and, uh, it has plenty of capabilities for what I use it for. You do get a little more payload going with a gas or over diesel cause you know, less emissions and stuff. But you know, if you're looking at pin weight, that's a big deal. But at the end of the day, guys, uh, make the best decision for yourself. But I mean, those are really, when people make 10 by 10s, pros and cons lists, listen, if, you, uh, if you're not towing more than 100 days a year, you don't need a diesel. If you don't touch the highway a lot, you don't need a diesel. Um, and, and really, at the end of the day, then it just comes down to how much more money you want to spend and how much more time you later you want to spend at the dealership getting work done when those EGRs and everything get clogged up. Um, but I think at the end of the day, there's, there's no justification for it. If you're just, if you're just looking for a great truck to pull some stuff, grab, grab, grab some lumber, heck most half tons do that now. So, you know, you don't have to sweat it. So until we talk again, guys drive safe out there. I'm Mo Quarries. Uh, if you like my videos, feel free to like them, um, subscribe them. Uh, you know, I don't get, uh, taken care of by people. This is just information for the, the general, uh, people out there like me that wish somebody would just give them, give them the information they want not have fancy banners across their things or or whatnot but i've been doing this for several years now and a lot of people have said that my stuff has helped them and i appreciate them reaching out and telling me that because i'm just doing this for the heck of it so try safe out there